want to discuss why I purchased the Harrisville Design Loom over another kind of loom. My first loom was a Harrisville Design Loom. I got a used four shaft, six treadle loom. Uh, it also had 36 inch wide weaving width and uh, that's what I started with. Within six months I decided that I wanted to get an eight shaft loom to allow me to design more drafts to expand the designs that I could create with the uh, loom that I had. I started looking at various looms and what I like about the Harrisville design loom is that these harnesses or shafts are hung by cables. Where that is important, if you're weaving and you have a knot or tangle in your warp, these shafts will pull back move a little bit as you're going and that tells you to stop and clear whatever the um, the knot or the tangle is. That helps so that you don't end up with a lot of broken warp threads. So that's one main feature that I really like about the Harrisville Design Loom. Harrisville Design Looms are very affordable. Uh, when I started comparing the prices of some other looms, I was happy to see that the Harrisville Loom was a much more affordable loom for me. It's made of hard maple. Harrisville will ship it to you fully assembled, or you can save $300 if you choose what they call the kit. The loom was shipped in two boxes in pieces with all the hardware needed to put it together. So if you can use a wrench and screwdriver, you can put this together in an afternoon. The wood of the loom is not coat it with anything like a polyurethane. What they use is what's called Danish oil and when you have the loom assembled you wipe the Danish oil on and let it dry and then put a second coat on. It does help in subsequent years to reapply that oil to keep the finish nice. It was sanded when I got it. They do supply some sandpaper in case some of the ends need a little bit of sanding but it was very smooth when I got it. The Holes are all drilled and pilot holes are drilled, so it makes the assembly very quick and easy. And the instructions were very thorough and simple to follow. I suggest that you get the kit. It's important for you to know how your loom works and all the pieces to it. And if you assemble it with the kit, you're going to learn that very quickly. You'll understand as you continue to weave when there's something wrong what is causing it because you'll see how the harnesses are hung. Maybe they need to be leveled or the height needs to be changed. So by assembling the loom yourself, you're going to learn quite a bit about the loom. I like that the shafts or harnesses are raised when I'm weaving. Most drafts are written for rising warp threads. There are some looms that will pull the warp down. Then you need to understand that that's the kind of loom that you have and adjust the pattern based on whether it's a rising warp or lowering warp thread. The Harrisville Design Loom is a lightweight loom. Overall, it's, I believe, 70 pounds total. And it is made so that you can fold the loom up. Both the breast beam and the warp beam will fold up to the castle and it has wheels on one side of it. So if you want to move the loom around, you can easily tip it back and move it on the wheels. The Harrisville design looms come in uh, three or four sizes. When considering a new loom, you want to consider the width of the majority of your projects or how wide you're going to actually want to weave something. Harrisville Designs comes in at 22 inch width, 36 inch, and 60 inch. Most common is the 36 inch. It gives you a nice wide weaving width, so you can do something small like a scarf or something larger like a shawl. And with various techniques, you can double the width of that weaving. And uh, we'll do a video on how to do double weave so that you can change a 36 inch weaving width to a 72 inch weaving width. Harrisville gives you a choice of the size of the reed that you would like to have with the loom. It is either 8, 10, or 
12 dent reeds. So depending on the other size reeds that you have, you can choose one of those three um, to come with your loom. It comes with 800 heddles, which is good to start with, but you may find you have to increase that number if you're doing double weave or extra wide uh, items. Sometimes you need extra heddles. They're very easy to put on the shafts. So that's one thing that you may need to upgrade after you get your loom. Being a lighter weight loom that can fold up, it's more portable. If you're taking classes or go to a guild, then I would suggest the 22 inch loom because it's lighter weight, easier to put in a car. But because of that feature, the loom is not what they call a rub loom. So if you're considering weaving rubs or heavier fabrics, you may want to consider a different loom because it is a lighter weight loom. It's not built for a, a rug or heavy weight um, cloth. For me, that was not a consideration. I prefer to weave with a thinner thread for a lighter weight fabric. There are a few accessories that are available through Harrisville Design for your loom. They do have a shelf that fits up here above the castle, which is nice for keeping your tools all at hand. They also have various tensioning devices. I do have one and I'll show you that later when we uh, do another project. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it informative. If you liked it, give me a like at the bottom here. If you have any questions, I'd be happy to answer any questions. So leave a comment and I'll get back to you. If you haven't done so, subscribe to my channel and you can watch this series of videos in a playlist. In our next video, we'll be discussing how to choose the thread or yarn that you want to use for your project, the various fibers that are available.